Hello there! I'm back at it again with another exciting installment of Mario Kart, but with a twist. And in today's exciting installment, we are running the combo with the worst traction in the game. Which technically got buffed, and for some reason, it's the sneaker. I don't know why the sneaker has the worst traction in the game. It honestly doesn't make much sense, but we're here on a track with traction. Right at the start, the sand. It is very hard to take any turns tight on this thing. Because stats-wise, this is not great. It has speed, weight, and invincibility without having anything else. And as you can see online, weight does not matter. We're going to be trying to win as many races as we can within eight. I don't know how easy it's going to be, but this combo's not great. It doesn't really have anything going for it other than speed. Because weight is irrelevant online, and invincibility is very niche. But we'll see how we do. As I get ranged, okay, well that's fine, I had a shroom. Trying to accelerate in this thing, or get mini turbos is almost impossible, so don't rank me, I'm just trying to mind my own business. I'm just chilling, I'm not hitting anybody. I'm just trying my best to survive out here. I threw the rank forward to try to protect me from the greens, I should have been throwing it behind me. Because apparently it was the Mario that was the threat all along. Uh oh. I just ranged a, pla a plant, and somehow I got away with it. I I feel like that's pretty lucky. Anyway, Rain, get him. Is that a homing ring? It actually looked like it was about to get him. What a shroom. I'm gonna get a little bit of a break. I don't... Yikes. Handling's not good enough to avoid that bomb. And it's gonna take me forever to accelerate, too. This is not good. Not impossible, but I'm gonna be in last, starting the lap. And I pulled a single shroom. Okay, yeah, this is pretty bad. I am so far back right now. Not impossible doing this back, though. If we can get two boxes here, there's a chance. Just need two good boxes. That's one. Okay, a star. That is really good. Blue, that's useless, but it's fine. Chain star into this set. Match the blue. Hopefully, everybody spans each other out here. Exactly what I'm looking for, anyway. Plus, I can star again. And then we just shroom to the end. Hopefully, my speed stack comes to clutch. Nice shot. Okay, sure. I'll take the third. I think I would have been fine regardless, but... Okay. Snowland. This track might pose a pretty big issue for me. It's a bagger, and it's slippery. I don't have traction, so the slipperiness is gonna be a problem. But, we have the lucky snowman here. Hello. I'm just gonna look at you for good luck. The issue with it being a bagger is that I can't accelerate. And when you bag, you're typically trying to play back, trying to get items. Which, I mean, I'll have shrooms for sure. But the main issue comes when, you know, I'm trying to catch up. I can't really do strats well, and I can't take turns tight. It's so hard to turn tight in this ice. Because my traction just keeps throwing me wide. I'm holding tight the whole time. It's just throwing me wide. I guess this is how the traction stat works. But honestly, we still have a chance. I mean, it's not unplayable per se. And I mean, we are here testing it out. But I got to say right off the bat, this isn't the greatest scenario. Also, if you're wondering who I got buffed, uh, it has more mini turbo now. The tires gave it more mini turbo. So the mini turbo is actually sort of okay. I mean, it's not great, don't get me wrong. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, we're good. I had to, like, drop everything and not fall, and I got trailed. Okay. Well, I don't want to waste a star. I'm gonna wait till I get the set, then I'll chain double. This is honestly still okay. Yep, this is still fine. I have another star. I don't see shock. I can use star to take the cut, and then I can use the golden after, or I can start early. If I need to. I don't think I'll need to, though. We can hold it until this piece of ice right here. Now Star will make it to cut, and then we can mash the golden immediately after. Hello, Yoshi. That was a good draft. I got the draft, the red skipped, although I just hit a penguin. Okay, we're fine. Let's go. I'm not getting redded, fortunately. I thought the red was going for me, but we're safe. I don't think we get first, but we can take a second. I'm a little surprised there's no shock, but not really much I can do about it. Okay, plant. I know I'm slower. Just speed, please. The speed was enough. Okay, thank goodness. Second is not too shabby. Would've been nice if there was a shock, but we'll take the second either way. Rainbow Road 7. This is not gonna be easy for me. This is a mini turbo based track, and I'm on a combo that can't do mini turbos. In fact, I had to do very conservative lines. At least at the start, there's this boost pad section. I do benefit a little bit here, because I am faster when boosting. But that's really it. I immediately lose time on this section, and the Yoshi behind me has a shroom. Although I don't think the shroom part's really a concern here. I mean, if anything, I'm still allowed first, because it looks like they got redded. I don't even know why I'm trying to do that. I can't get the mini turbo. Please don't fall off. What? I just snapped down. Like, 
I fell so quick. So the game does not want to keep me on the road. Uh, also, that's fire. Please don't back it. I am very big. I do not want to get fired. Okay, thank you, Mr. Junior. I appreciate it. Rosa has a ring. Do they back it? I don't think so. I'm just going to go in front and then go faster. Just run away. These shrimps are going to be very essential to catching up. Oh, wait. The middle is in first. I'm in second. I'm not paying attention to my position counter, but we're up here. There is a chance we can bring this back. When I say bring it back, I mean get up to first, because I'm, like, right behind them. And honestly, this position's not bad. Because they have to deal with blue. And if they drop, I have a shroom, so I'm still prepared. It's a win-win scenario for me. Plus, this is a straightaway, so I have advantage. Goodbye. Thanks for the draft. Now let's boost. No. Wait, don't try to green me. Just let me live. I'm just vibing. I don't have any intent on hitting you. Unless you try to hit me. But you're not going to do that, right? I hope not. Can I get the old shroom? I can. What do they have? A shroom? Okay, that's fine. What else do they have? A green. So we just go. I think we're good. That honestly went better than expected. We'll take it, though. That's honestly pretty clean. I was expecting a blue, but there wasn't one. Works out in my favor, though. Let's see if we can keep it up. Thwomp Ruins. Okay, so this track has nothing traction related. But it is very mini turbo heavy. And I also can't take the shortcut right at the start because I can't get the mini turbo in time. This combo just can't. There's no way. Fortunately for me, only one guy got it and I'm going to go immediately for coins. But maybe that banana will hit. It did not. And it would never. But the attempt was there. For now, we're going to get our top speed up because that is our best plan of action. Mario can't really do much to me. I'm just going to mini turbo. I don't think I get the super mini turbo here. Hello, Mario. I am back. Would you like to mess with me in my triple greens? Okay, we're all coined up. I don't know how many coins this Yoshi has, but I don't assume they're max coined. Of course, Yoshi Teddy is still faster than me, but I honestly do not mind them being in first. Because I benefit that way. Because they're going to be the one who deals with blue. Now here's the real question. Can the combo do the cut? Nope. You could not get the super mini turbo work, regardless of how Tidek took that. But... My plan is coming to fruition. They are getting blue, and they have no blue repellent. Plus, I'll still have blue repellent in my pocket. What? What are you doing, Yoshi? He threw the banana forward, so now the Mario can red him if he has one. He has fire, and it's all coming to me. Revenge. What did he get? You shouldn't have done that. Well, now I can punish the Yoshi for trying to do the cut. I will just use the horn on the cut. It's a little unfortunate I have to use it that way, but I want to hold my lead. Never mind. I was never destined to, to run, I guess. Plus, he had a horn, too, so he probably would have just horned me. So, honestly, it's probably better that I got killed. Now, let's try again. Maybe this time I'll get it. Nope. Still no. That's just not happening. Okay, good to know. It's not looking great. It comes really down to this set. If I can pull something decent, there's a chance. Because this is a long straightaway. That Petey just destroyed two people. Petey, I know you have a ring. That's fine. That shock's honestly fine, because I was in the air, so I don't lose that much speed. And my combo's all about speed, so... I was shocked in third, the Inkling goes before me. I'm risking it and take a single. In hopes that I can maybe... That's a... That's a bomb. Where does he place it? There's no way. Yep, he gets... He gets first. Second's not bad here, though. Honestly, we'll take a second. That race was really scuffed. It's really unfortunate this combo can't do the cut, but... It could have been worse. Mario Circuit GBA. We got another bagger. It's honestly kind of ironic how almost all the GBA tracks in this game are baggers, but we're going to ignore that. For now, we're going to be bagging. Because running on this combo, specifically on this track, is not going to work out. We're going to grab coins. It's always the start. Good plan to any bagger. Get coins first. Because coins are how you catch up. And also, I still can't accelerate. Not like it's too relevant here, although I did pull a single shroom, which is, uh, not great, but I can stop the double. If anything, the main thing you want is dodges. You need to dodge the shock here. That is how we win, and that's what we're going to be trying to do. For now, we're going to try to get the shock. Okay. This put me in an interesting predicament. When do I use this? Do I use it now and dodge people? Or do I use it later and dodge no one? I'm going to use it now and dodge no one. I still have my star, which is good. The star is the item I want here. Shock was used early, so it could be used again lap three. But it's not something I'm concerned about right now. 
for now, if I chain the star into set, I should pull another. And then that's my win con, because I'll have Shroom to the back. That's the plan. I'm going to chain this here. I get to take this cut for free. Okay, that's fine. I was expecting a star, but we can still work with this. I just have to hope nobody gets a last minute shock. Also, I am lucky those greens missed. But just like that, I'm in second. Now I'm in first. I'm surprised I got that super mini turbo, but we're looking good. I do have to be concerned about a red, but I could take some cuts, get an even bigger breakaway, and then I can use the last room on this cut up here. Coin, that's honestly fine. And there we go. Well, that was not the way I expected that to go, but it worked beautifully. My plan was flawless in the biggest air quotes imaginable, but it worked and that's what matters. Sky Garden, another GBA course. Why are we getting so many GBA courses? Regardless, this track might be a problem. I can't do any fast strats. I can't do leafs, like 100% sure, because I just don't have the mini turbo for it. Somehow I'm still keeping the lead, surprisingly. Probably not for much longer, as there's a lot of faster combos than mine, but it was nice while it lasted. Also, this track can be bagged like the other two, but I don't like bagging it typically. Interesting draft. Please don't insta trail. Of course you'd insta trail. The moment I ask you not to. Now I'm gonna contribute and do the same thing. Are you just gonna stay right behind me or are you gonna let me go? Oh right, that was a straightaway. I got a bigger lead now. Not by much, but anything helps. Of course, I do have to be concerned about blue. I wanna try to get this villager off of me if I can. But that's not something I can really guarantee. I'm gonna place the banana here and maybe it'll hit. Okay, it broke the red. You know what? I'll take that too. Uh, you have shrooms. You're just gonna take the blue. And you're also gonna get... Never mind, I read the villager. Or not. Well, I read the guy I wanted to red, so that's still fine. I'm just gonna punish the guy for getting in front of me. That bump was weird, but we're still in this. I do have to be concerned about shock. You're defenseless. I am sorry, but I'm doing this. Because I am evil. No. I don't want to get trailed. I huge. I'm going to get trailed if I let him keep that. Don't back that. Thank you. Okay. Double reds is really good here. And now it is no longer really good. I'm going to throw them both. Just to maybe force a banana. Perfect. Okay, shrooms. This is good. That's a red, though. Oh, wait. He got ghosted. I don't win. Do I? Ah, close. If I maybe shrooms a little bit later instead of wasting my boost, I could have stole that. But second, that's fine. This might unironically be one of the only good tracks for this combo. Just because I am high speed and high weight. And this track is a lot of straightaways. Now, the real question is, do we get to make this work? So we immediately start by going up here. Take the ramp. Almost get bumped out, but I'm still in first thanks to my speed stat. And the bomb went off. Rest in peace, whoever got bombed. Make sure I don't hit the car. Okay, we're good. Now it's just a bunch of straight lines. And we got the time trial pattern. At least for the first half. No. Why would you do that? That was so unnecessary. Okay, the box. Ah, they got another red. That sucks, because it's going to take me forever to accelerate. And he has greens. Okay, this is terrifying. He's like right behind me, and I have no evasive options. I'm too big. The question is, does he go for the shot? Doesn't look like he will. Plus, he's going slower route, so I'm actually kind of safe. And I got a horn. That's a huge pull. Plus, I'm almost all coined out. Honestly, this is looking pretty good for me. This is a really hard runner, by the way, and I have speed stat. The main reason why this combo is good is this section. Because, as I said before, high speed means you boost more when on a boost pad. Because you're just faster, so you're going faster. And it's nice for this track. That's why the world record's on, like, circuit special slicks. This is just a lot of straightaways. I'm going to slow down a little bit so I can pour in the blue while still getting it set. And I guess I wanted to hit a car too. That is a little embarrassing, but we're going to ignore that. Unfortunately, I have no acceleration still. The main part where this combo is actually okay is on the boost pad section, and I'm not there. Watch the cars. Okay, we're good. Let's not flub again, because that would not be a good idea. Alright, this is a fine pull. I do not mind a bomb, because I can do something evil with this in case anyone tries to test me. Plus, I got the drift this time. Much better. I'm just going to hop around, make sure I don't hit the car. Okay, we're good. We are basically safe. I mean, just look at the breakaway. I'm not even on a good combo normally, but here? This is the one time where this combo actually pops off. Not too bad. Glad we got to show this off. Still one more race, though. Let's finish it with a bang. Mario Circuit DS. 
an interesting ending track, to say the least, but it should be fairly interesting. We're gonna run into the bagging issue again, but, I mean, it worked the first time. I mean, I'm referring to the other Mario circuit. Also, Lucky Tree, hello! Thank you for your luck, Mr. Tree. In case you're wondering, I don't have a luck strat in Mario circuit, but I do want Snowland in this track, which is also conveniently called Mario circuit, but this is the better one. Also, because it's not GBA. I don't like GBA Mario circuit that much, in case you couldn't tell. Anyway, the bagging plan is fairly simple here. We use the star into the final cut, lap three. Well, okay, that's not the better way to describe it. First matter of business, 10 coins, which we've already accomplished. Step two, dodge shock. Or if it's like the other Mario circuit, use shock and make sure nobody else dodges. Because that was the situation went for last time and it worked there. Might be catching up a little too quickly, but I'll know based off my pull here. I want to be able to use my star into this cut up ahead. This is a very good cut. If I can have a star for this lap three, I'm in a very good position. That is honestly fine, because I can get a ninth place set now. Sorry, me. I just stole it from you. Uh, okay, this is not a star, but I can still dodge with this. And dodging is the backup plan. And it's the plan I'm going to have to rely on. I'm reading shock now. It happens now. Do it. Use it. Make me correct, because I don't want to get rid of this Mario. Don't drop me into that red. Thank you, Bill. At least you spared me that in that regard. Although the red just went from nobody, but honestly, that's better than me getting redded. Yoshi just got fireballed. Now I'm in first with two, three shrooms. I do have to be on a blue lookout, but this is a good situation for me. Okay, when I say blue lookout, I meant shock lookout. Because I have a shroom to dodge the blue. It's the shock that's going to be the issue here. Of course, I think at this point I'm basically safe. Okay, I would be if I didn't suck. Does he have a red? I'm unpunished. I don't know if I deserved it, but we'll take it regardless. That was a little embarrassing, but we're fine. There was no repercussions. I mean, at the end of the day, this combo honestly did better than I thought it would. I mean, it's not great, like in the slightest, but it somehow made things work. I mean, at least a moon view was good. So if it's on, if you get moon view, it could be worth it. But other than that, that'll be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next one.